Here's a little challenge for you. I provide you the pattern for the first three pairs of puzzles. Could you tell me what is the answer for the fourth one? Take a moment to think. If you figured it out, congratulations! You are smarter than ChatGPT. That's right, most AI systems today cannot solve these puzzles. Surprised? Stay tuned, because this leads us to something fascinating, the concept of AGI. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, where we deep dive into the fascinating world of AI and beyond. Today, we are tackling the big topic, Artificial General Intelligence, the AGI. You've probably already heard about AI, but AGI is a whole different ballgame. Let's break it down and explore the possibilities together. What is the difference between AI and AGI? We often think of AI as intelligent because it's so knowledgeable and it can do many things that women do. But if we look at end logic, it's because it trends on massive amounts of data. When it encounters a problem, it tries to find similar patterns in its knowledge base. For example, a self-driving car is an AI system. It trends on road rules. But if you take a self-driving car from San Francisco and drop it in Paris, it will struggle because it doesn't know well Parisian road rules. Similarly, ChatGPT can answer almost any question because it has possessed nearly the entire internet. It's like a massive knowledgeable entity. This is how we build GPTs. It's by cramming as much knowledge and as many patterns as possible into the model. For these examples, if you give it a completely different task, like solving a puzzle that I showed at the beginning, and it's lost. It has no capacity to transfer the knowledge to other domains. This is what we call narrow AI. Training AI on millions of similar tasks doesn't make it intelligent. It just expands its library of knowledge and skills. Now let's talk about AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. AGI is different. It represents general intelligence, meaning it doesn't rely on finding patterns from pre-existing database. If it encounters something entirely new, it can think through the problem and find a solution on its own. AGI is like a human brain in a machine. It's not just about mastering skill. It's about being adaptable, learning from experiences, and reasoning around a wide range of tasks. An AGI could learn to play chess, cook dinner, compose music, and even hold meaningful conversations all without needing to reprogram or retrain for each task. If we go back to the puzzle that I showed at the beginning, it's part of a test called ArcAGI, designed by François Cholet. ArcAGI is designed to test reasoning over memorization. Arc puzzles don't require vast amounts of knowledge. Each puzzle is novel and unlike to have been encountered before, meaning pre-training a large database won't help. Even if you've memorized the entire internet, arc challenging can still be difficult for you. That's why models like ChatGPT struggle with arc puzzles, but 5 years old children can solve them. Humans excel because our intelligence involves to handle things we've never seen before. Machines, on the other hand, rely heavily on pre-training, which limits their ability to adapt to entirely new scenarios. Recently, OpenAI announced their latest model, O3. They explained why ArcAGI test is the milestone for AGI, described what Arc is, and showcased the performance of O3 on the Arc challenges. Let's take a look together. Our first benchmark, Arc AGI, was developed in 2019 by Francois Cholet in his paper on the measure of intelligence. However, it has been unbeaten for five years. Now, in AI world, that's like it feels like centuries is where it is. So the system that beats Arc AGI is going to be an important milestone towards general intelligence. But I'm excited to say today that we have a new state-of-the-art score to announce. Arc AGI version 1 took 5 years to go from 0% to 5% with leading frontier models. However, today, 
I am very excited to say that O3 has scored a new state of the art score that we have verified. On low compute for uh, O3, it has scored 75.7 on Arc AGI's semi private holdout set. Now, this is extremely impressive because this is within the uh, compute requirements that we have for our public leaderboard, and this is the new number one entry in Arc AGI Amazing. Pub. So, congratulations Thank to you that. So much. We can see that O3 achieved 87.5% compared to an average human performance of around 80%. It also significantly outperforms other LLMs, which only achieved around 10%. For example, GPT-4 scored 9% and Gemini 1.5 scored 8%. Moreover, achieving even this small percentage requires substantial computational resources and costs. O1, an earlier model, performed poorly on AGI tasks, achieving just 21%. Yet, in just four months, O3 managed to reach an impressive 88%. This demonstrates a remarkable progress in very short time between O1 and O3. This is especially important because um, human performance is, co uh, is comparable at 85% threshold. So being above this is a major milestone. And we have never tested a system that has done this or any model that has done this beforehand. So this is new territory in the Arc AGI world. Congratulations to OpenAI have developed such model. You might ask, why do LLMs always perform well in other tests or benchmarks? Most of the benchmarks we use to evaluate AI models primarily measure memorization rather than the true intelligence. For example, the multitask language understanding benchmark tests a model's ability to recall and replicate patterns it has seen before. Models like GPT-4 excel in these benchmarks because they have been pre-trained on vast datasets, which allow them to match questions to solve patterns effectively. However, this does not indicate true intelligence, merely an ability to retrieve and apply memorized information. In contrast, Arc AGI challenges focus on reasoning and adaptability. Testing the model's ability to handle novel situations it has never encountered before, making them a far better measure for general intelligence. This is why general intelligence is so important. You can never pretrain on everything you might encounter because the world is constantly changing. Our human intelligence involved to learn and adapt to novel situations. Replicating this adaptability in machines is one of the most challenging problems in AI research. If you've seen serials like Westworld or movies like Ex Machina, you've encountered fictional portrayals of AGI. These stories imagine a world where machines can think, feel, and make decisions independently. Well, these are just the sci-fi for now. They offer a glimpse into what AGI might one day look like. The journey to AGI is as exciting as it is complex. It's a topic that raises big questions like the future of humanity, such as how we ensure AGI aligned with human values, the ethical dilemmas it might pose, and the impact it could have on society and the job market. It also challenges us to push the boundary of technology, striving to create systems that have reason and adapt like human. Arc AGI offer a glimpse into what might be possible when we shift our focus from memorization to the reasoning and adaptability. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Do you think AGI is a dream worth pursuing? Let me know your thoughts on the comments below. In the next video, I will talk about ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more insights into ever-evolving world of AI.